Today I'll be demonstrating a la prima style, painting this beautiful horse. I'll be speeding up the video for the initial part of the painting and definitely slowing it down for the details. I begin the painting by blocking in the shapes and using local color to establish the plane and composition of the face. In this block-in stage of the painting, I do mix a little bit of mineral spirits in with my oil paint. This allows it to glide very easily onto the canvas and dry quickly so that we can move on to the next stage of painting. If you would like a copy of this photo to create your own painting, that's not a problem. I will let you know how you can access it free of charge at the end of this video. Paint colors in my palette today are ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson, and titanium white. And don't forget to keep wiping your brush off. It's so important for clean color to make sure that your brushes are wiped clean. I usually wipe the color off with a paper towel and then I dip it into the mineral spirits and wipe it off again. I also like to have several brushes on hand, one that I use primarily for the darks, one for the mid-tones, and one for the lights. which I am really enjoying lately. They're wonderful for applying mane, hair, and in this case, eyelashes. photo I 
photo reference, it's really important to look for those subtle shades beneath the shades. Try to see the color that's not obvious, and that will really set your painting apart. Here I'm using a piece of a paper towel for soft blending.
My darkest darks are a combination of ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of a lizard crimson just to give it more of a purple undertone. If you'd like to see more of my paintings and drawings, you can visit my website, which is JanetFerraro.com. And I also have an Etsy shop where I have some giclés, uh, reproductions, as well as originals available. I'll leave all of that information in the description area below. some of those subtle details in the eye before I add the eyelashes. Now for the eyelashes, looking at the exact placement. Just about every stroke of the hair on the eyelashes, I dip my brush back into the fresh dark paint. I want this color to be very crisp. I added a touch of lemon yellow and naphthol red to my palette at this point. I felt that these colors just needed a little more vibrancy.
notice here that I'm applying the paint in a sweeping motion in the direction that the actual hair grows. And I have to say this angle tip brush is really wonderful at painting hair. this painting from you can find it at paint my photo and the site link is up above here and my handle there is joyful painter I do upload photos for others to enjoy and paint from and you can too as well as well as you can find this photo there all right have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me